Another thing you can do with Logo Diffusion is turn any logo into a 3D uh, version of it. So just the day the Threads social media app was released, and I thought we can play around with their logo and see what we can do uh, turning it into a 3D graphic. So loading it up here, you can just load uh, the logo in here, and you're going to get uh, different edge detection methods to show you which one you could use for your illustration. So I'm going to go with Thick Outline, and I'm going to turn off Use Image Colors because we want to try different colors with it. And I'm going to leave Image Influence at 4. And since the app is called Threads, I'm going to try to use a prompt that can get us an illustration that looks like the logo is made out of threads. So I'm going to write something like Tray Fabric Thread Logo. I want an empty in background and I want to use pastel colors. So I want to select this first part of the prompt and give it three balls for importance. Uh, I'm going to give the empty clean background two bolts and just leave pastel colors like this. Let's select 3D and click generate. So we got this result. You can see that uh, we got some sort of fabric uh, result here. This one shows us more uh, threads and more fabric details. Uh, the same with this one as well. Now let's say we want to do something a little bit different. So let's say we want to do like a version where it's made out of a made out of a shoelace. Uh, I could just open the editor here. I can use a brush size, kind of something like this. Make sure it's white, and let's just add uh, like an end like this to it, just to kind of show kind of like the plasticky part at the end of a of a shoelace. And then let's let's just save it. You can see when you save it, uh, the images up down, down here, uh, they get updated. Now we can change the prompt a little bit. So let's remove pastel colors and then let's make it uh, here instead of stray fabric threads, we can just do shoelace logo. Let's click 3D. Let's put this to thin outline and lower it down to four image influence and let's click generate. And we got the results so you can see here that so you can see here we got uh, the exact silhouette of the logo but in the shape of a shoelace got a couple few options here and you can just keep clicking generate until you get the results that you want even add some colors into here and then click the use image colors if you want to control the exact colors of the background or the, or, or the logo itself I did try a couple more prompts with it. So for example, it kind of looked like a pretzel. So I did like a pretzel prompt here. You can see the results we got. All of which could be used for social media content, even advertising or creating different brand assets that can be used in different projects. And once you get a result that you like, you can just click on the image and click on this button here, move background, give it a few seconds, and it's going to return with the same logo with the background removed and it's ready to be used in any project that you're working on. Use the same technique used with the Apple logo. Got something like a wool fabric logo, fuzzy, uh, clean empty background. Uh, he has like different, different results that caught with it. And this is pretty much how you use the 2D to 3D workflow in Logo Fusion.